As the sun begins to rise over the beautiful Welsh town of Clandudno, our intrepid explorers, Andy, Claire, Pablo and Dora, are about to embark on a wonderful adventure filled with sunshine, happiness and laughter. At least that is what was meant to happen. Instead, they got this and so much more. Hello. Where are we, Claire? We are in Landudno, and we're staying at a place called Tan Alt Hall. Ooh, but it's very nice. It's uh, an air. They describe it as an air. But the one thing with an air is it doesn't have a shower block. So you're going to have to excuse us if we don't look our glamorous selves because we've just rolled out of bed to do this video. You can get it if you really We're going to walk into town. Yep. So over there is the great orm. What are you doing? What? What are you doing? I think I'm just ragging my shoulder out trying to get that drone back. It's supposed to come back to you, but it were overhanging. Anyway, sorry, what were you saying? So over here is it's called the great orm. That's the hill thing there. And it's an actual old mine. We're going to go up to the mine. Oh yeah, look. I thought you'd get on that. Trees were there 100 years. <laughs> So we've got a lovely entrance, dogs are happy, Claire's happy, which makes a change. So it's going to be a good video of this, guys. <laughs> we don't take that one. If you come here, you don't take that one. How do you know that? Is that what because you said? Because I spoke to the man this okay. morning and you were stood at the side oh. of me. Well, that's a beautiful building, isn't it? Well, there's a few buildings. Is it like a gated community? Yeah, maybe. It's got like apartments and houses in it. It's quite nice around here, isn't it? Yes, it is. Well, I don't know where we're staying. It's beautiful. We've caught whales in a dull day haven't we today yeah, but one thing it's not raining if you've been watching the channel for a while you'll know that when the big lanky one comes out with a fact it's usually proven wrong within minutes I'd like to bring another first to the channel a seagull with a full apple in its mouth <laughs> I've never seen that I'm telling before. you now if anybody's seen that before on YouTube drop us a comment because I don't think it exists world exclusive oh Claire look at them hot lips <laughs> I thought you weren't going to come out in your dry robe today, Claire. Oh, sorry. Sorry, mate. Well, this is the Manor Hotel. Looks like it was a big affair. There's a few on here. Oh, look, there's lots of hotels. Frosty on Towers, that one's called. Frosty Towers. And look at that, there's that bit of... Beautiful view there. Rock there, what a lovely landscape that is. And we've got all these lights now. We saw these lights last night, didn't we? Yeah, it looked amazing. All the way down. And we make our way to the promenade. Is this style of promenade again, like we had in Rill? Yeah. Quite a Welsh style yeah. of promenade. Well, there's a bit of uh, water sports activity Ooh, this morning. Oh, look. What are your thoughts on pebbled beaches? Um, honestly, they're not my favourite beach. It's like if you book a holiday and you go abroad, you turn up, it's a pebble beach. Hmm. I can't help but think... I'm a bit disappointed. Me but too. Here, it's nice because you can just walk on it, throw some stones. You know, you're not necessarily going to sunbathe in no. London, no, are you? And look at the fantastic Victorian hotels opposite. Well, that's the Washington. Isn't that gorgeous? For our American viewers, of which we're getting more now. So if you are from America, let us know in the comments where you're from. So this is St. Paul's Church. It's a Victorian church. Yeah. Looks, I don't know, I think it looks a bit older, don't you? Yeah. Built in 1866. Got beautiful stained glass windows. It's really nice. This Washington Hotel. Yeah. It was designed by a guy called Arthur Hewitt. And he also designed the Palladium Theatre in London. Wow. Well, I look think you maybe you can kind of see that. If you squint, it could be Palladium. It could be, couldn't it? Yeah. London, no London. A lot of similarities. Potato, potato. You can see there our coastlines are changing exponentially. Look at the wind farm over there. Well, there's hundreds of them. So many. And these are the things that are bringing our energy bills down. On this roundabout then you've got Landudno Sailing Club and they're active at the minute. I don't know if they're having lessons or he seems to be struggling a little bit. He's got in now. But wind gets up. It is quite breezy, isn't it? It's quite breezy, which is always good for sailing. I think he's forgot his passenger. Looks a little bit flummoxed. 
<laughs> Unless he's got out for a week. <laughs> it does look like he's having a week. This guy's in the week. Yeah. No, apparently they're not having a week. We've just seen. He says, I'm not weeing. <laughs> There's all sorts going off. Landudno Sailing Club. It's got some right machinery, but I don't know if you can tell, yeah. Claire. Have a look here out to sea, because I think that's a helicopter. I think it is, on top of that boat. It's or following that boat. It, yeah. Is it like a rescue mission, then? I don't know what it is. Kimru, which is Welsh, isn't it? Yeah. Creosaur. So that must be what it is. Office block or it's something. It's a Welsh venue. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure so, that's yeah. what it is? <laughs> is it? Hey, stay tuned for more top facts. <laughs> One of the only problems with coming places like this is that there's all these lovely houses and Claire wants to live by at sea and she likes all these lovely houses and to be fair, just makes her green with envy. Look at that. It's a nice building as well, isn't it? Very well looked after, painted nicely. You don't really see that if you go to sort of Scarborough. They're a bit Bridlington. They run down, aren't they? What, Sorry, the B&Q? I mean it. The B&Q? No, no, this here. Oh. I have a really interesting fact oh, to yeah? share with you. Now, Lewis Carroll, do you know who that is? Yeah, uh, he's that Formula One driver. He wrote Alice in Wonderland. Yeah? Okay. And his family, well, he was friends with the Liddell family. Supermarket heirs. <laughs> and they had a daughter called Alice, Alice Liddell, who lived in Landudno, um, in a house called uh, Pen Moor. Let's check that out. And anyway, the Alice in Wonderland is based on Alice Liddell. All right. I didn't say that very well this time around. So I got two dogs. Oh. Tell you what, I yeah. like that village that's just in the hillside. It's a little bit like where you go island hopping in Greece. Yeah. The builder. We're going to get up there on a the tram. Oh, what's up at the top of that then? The mines, the great old mines. The Bronze Age mines, Bronze Age. Wow. With the biggest mines in the whole world. Wow. And they've discovered in 1984. How can they be discovered in 1984 when the though, Bronze Age? They were there. Oh, just forgot about them. Yeah. What do you think to that Imperial Hotel? If I'm honest, I'm not in love. I love it. There's a memorial there for a speedboat that capsized in 1992. Five people lost their lives. Some quite There's a people. quote at the bottom, only the tide is certain to return to shore. So just up here, Claire, is the bandstand, and it still gets used. A lot of these bandstands, they don't get used very much. It's quite sad, isn't it? Yeah, but they have weekly concerts from here with a brass band all the way through summer look at this mad hatter <laughs> so this is part of the alice in wonderland story i thought it was noddy older <laughs> there's a, a alice in wonderland trail here where you can go around and see all the sculptures white rabbit white rabbit white rabbit when did you used to say that white rabbit white rabbit that it means good luck doesn't it it means good luck is it? Look at that. What the hell is that? That's great. Electric. You're all enclosed. Hey, I think I can see the George Hotel. The Trevon is a family run hotel. Yeah. And they do an English breakfast every morning. It's like old fashioned. We ought to do it, Claire. Allow the dogs to get some respite from us. I think that's great. So should we go on to some big cities? A city break would be quite nice. Hotel city break. So here you are at St George's Hotel. So this is the one where Lewis Carroll stayed. And he wrote Alice in Wonderland here. Parts of it, yes. Parts of it. Because his friend a... Alice was from Landudno. Right, only parts of it though. Probably yeah. too, too busy on his holiday, isn't he? So it seems like a bit of a theme for our Welsh tour. It's raining again. I'm going to try and get dogs in a cafe before it gets too bad. We're going to have a go at cafe culture. This looks quite nice. Well, it looks very nice. They've got this little outside area. It's warm, so we're going to sit under here. And they do a full English breakfast. There it is, look. You get free tea or coffee with it. You get a free tea or coffee? 
Well, I want a coffee, so I may as well have a breakfast. <laughs> They're not serving food until 12, so, so no breakfast. There's no breakfast until there. 12? No, there's no breakfast this morning, but they're serving food from 12. Oh, okay. But they said there's a continental breakfast across the road and you could have got one there, but... We don't do continental. Oh, but nice coffee though. In a great location, on an intersection. We're Should gonna we have some intense rain now. And then it's gonna calm down a little bit. Welsh life, innit? Yeah. We're just enjoying the Welsh lifestyle. I'm not enjoying the rain. We booked on pitch up and we've got to get some yeah. cash out. So there's plenty of banks here. So I think that's going to be our next part of call. Yeah, get the cash out for the yeah, pitch up. With P well, you booked it, didn't you? So what do you do? You yeah. do the... You pay your deposit yeah. and that goes to pitch up. It must be their chunk. And then when we get here, you pay the uh, remainder. Yeah, so and you can do it either this place, PayPal or, or cash. cash, but we're just going to do a cash. All right. Yeah. Can't remember last time I went to a cash machine. A Keep cash time, alive. Though. Cash is king. Well, that's lovely cafe. Hey, now this is different. House plant shop. Dog Botanical. friendly. Botanical. It's dog friendly. Yeah. You can get it if you really want. You can get it if you really want. You can get it if you really want. But you must try, try and try, try and try. You succeed at last. We don't think we're going to get a seat. We want the back there. No, there's people sat there. Right. However, that's that. <laughs> Sorry, she's excited. Come on, that lady says she's going if you want to sit there. Oh, well, here we are in the houseplant cafe. Look at this. This is different. And they've got beautiful, beautiful toasties, paninis. You can get one slice of toast with all fancy stuff on top. Locally made sourdough, Ooh. five pounds 60 for a slice of toast. Some beautiful plants here, There's stuff that I've never seen before, and I've travelled. I'm not bragging, but I have. I've never seen these in home base before. Andrew, sit up, you're slouching. Oh, I'm not slouching. So if you move it, it like it moves, so that's why that's like that. Now they're called uh they're prayer plants. That's right. We prayer had plants. a prayer plant, didn't we? In the garden. What happened to that? I did put some tropical plants in garden one summer and they lasted all summer. These flamingo ones, it got massive. And it did, yeah. So you, actually you can have them outside. I think it's good for them. But that prayer plant, I can't remember what they're called. It starts with a C. Look at them. In a black cup. Don't that look nice? Look Looks at the contrast. Awesome, yeah. Look how good it is on top. Red cheese and chutney panini, look at that. Ooh. Oof, gosh. And then this is a, a cheese and onion chutney. We're going look to have half that. and half, aren't we? We're going to half half. Are you ready? Yeah, go for it. So I'll tell you why I went for this. Because it's very difficult with Dora around, but so you can get here, you can get uh, sourdough yeah. with all these like amazing toppings, mm. £5.60. A slice? But it's one slice with a topping, whereas a panini is five sixty. And I thought, well, I get two halves of bread. Two slices? So that's the auctionist in me. Because I couldn't, I just couldn't justify the same price for one slice of bread. Out of ten? Eleven. Oh, that's a good score. It's like proper ingredients, so. Nice. You tried yours? Yeah, absolutely amazing. Mm. I'm going to tell you something. Mm -hmm. That's the best cafe I've been in, I think, ever. Yeah. I feel really relaxed apart from. Botanical babe? Yeah. I feel really relaxed apart from being really jacked up on lattes. <laughs> because I didn't really want another latte. I feel a bit jittery now. Do you? I do. It's a good job I've got a gimbal. Oh, Andrew. Well, listen, we might be in Wales. But I'm that Yorkshire, I'm gonna go in there and get our last some spice. We've got some blackjacks, can Loved you remember them? them? Love them. And then I've just got some hard boiled sweets because I like them. <laughs> Let's have an hard boiled sweet suck on while we walk around, okay? Okay. Why would you put that there? Is like it oil? Infused oil. Looks like me on my day off that. <laughs> and I'll tell you why it does. If you have a look here, you can just see. 
think his bum crack's coming out of that bag. <laughs> There's a lot of things to do around here. Lots to do. I think that's one of the fanciest looking weather spoons I've ever seen. The Palladium. Looks fantastic. Mm. But we're not welcome because we dogs have dogs. Dogs can't go in, yeah. Or more lounge. That's lovely. It's very Alice in Wonderland if you look at it. Look all the lights and the pictures on the wall. Old Tiffany lamps, look at that. There's all this, uh, what are they? What would you say, a carport? Yeah. An old Victorian carport. I can see the Queen of Hearts. Blandudno's quite tropical looking. There's a lot of yuccas in there. Mm. What's this? You know, there's a sign there, and I'm none the wiser. No idea. See you, love. It looks churchified, do you think? Yeah. Yeah, the Queen of Hearts is there, look. Shall we have a look at her? Does she say, off with her head? I have watched Alice in Wonderland, but it was a long time ago. I haven't watched the new version, have you? Look at that. God. You don't want that screaming at you, would you? Fantastic. Sculpture. No caravans or motor caravans parking here at 11 p.m., 8 a.m. Is that what she's saying? I think she is. Are you with the motorhome? Love it. We've got a museum and gallery. But I think it's closed. There's no lights on. Walks, talks, tours. Oh dear, it's closed, everybody. I don't know what's in it, do you? Stuff about London, no. Well, we're in London, no. I know. Hey, look at this. Now, I didn't know this. I always thought it was Scottish. Right. But you know that guy that sung um, Never Gonna Give You Up? <laughs> well, he put this here. Look, this stone was placed by Miss Astley. <laughs> Rick Astley oh, is... Oh, you got it wrong. Obviously, we can't eat everywhere. As much as I'd like to, Claire says it's not good for me. But this is Tiffany's. You can sit outside, but you can also go inside. It's dog friendly. So we're finding that it's quite dog friendly, isn't it? Yeah. Oh dear. Look at this. Uh, the fact checkers are out. Huh? So Arthur Hewitt, who we uh, said built the Palladium, well, he did but it wasn't the Palladium in London, it was this one, the Weather Spoons. It was the Palladium in London, no. We basically just mm. built Weather Spoons, so, yeah, anyway. Good this, lad, Arthur, good lad. What's this? Mode male image, this way. Oh, baby, sounds like it's up your street. Well, I've made it to Mode male image, and I'm none the wiser. Oh, look, they're ready for you, catering for all body types. Well, that's not very nice, is it? <laughs> Big Hill there, has it got a name, this Big Hill? It's the Great Orm. The Great Orm? Yep. Sounds like a wizard or a magician. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome. Look at that. Oh, yeah. A windmill. Yeah, it's lovely. Don't know why that's there. there. Why would that be there? Mm -mm. Well, look. Emperor Buffet. Eat smell. as much as you can. Mm. I think they've underestimated the Yorkshire people turning up. If I usually peak too early on them things. Yeah. Get right excited and end up with stomach cramps. Oh yeah, look at that. Is that a Masonic Lodge? Yeah. Coffee cake, cycle fitness. Make your mind up. More Victorian carports. What's this building? Beautiful streets, Landudno. It's the Tabernacle Welsh Baptist Chapel. Tabernacle. Louis Valentine. I can't read that. Uh, something, I don't know. That's cool, isn't it? Look at the properties up on the, what is it called? Orm. Great Orm. Great Orm. Is there a, just a normal one? The Rose Tor. No residents welcome. The Rose Tor. The Empire Hotel looks nice. What time is it? Oh, perfect. Yeah? Half past one. I've just got uh, an appointment just here. Okay. And a guy, quite famous in these parts. Right. He's called John Starkey. Yeah. And he's... Uh, Isn't he on Game of Thrones? <laughs> yeah. No, he's a clairvoyant. It's okay. only 10 minutes, but I'm just gonna go in because you can get a reading. Okay. You were in for 10 minutes. I should have been, but 
So you didn't know I'll come in. Really interesting poster here about this Empire Hotel. Now the Maddox came to land Dudno from Birmingham in 1946. But there's some people that work here that's worked here for ages. So in the restaurant, Maria's worked here for 47 years. That's mad. Yeah. Call them lifers. We're walking up here because we want to go on a tram, don't we? We do. And there's a tram stop here. Now, I don't know where the tram goes. Do you know where the tram goes? Yeah, up to the Great Home. Oh. Can dogs go on the yes. tram? Yes, they can. There's been something bothering me about yeah. these signs. Brian Davis and Associates. Yeah. I've seen that type of logo before. And I know now. What do you know? Do you know what I mean? Where have you seen that? I don't know. Pucker pies. <laughs> What's like pucker pies? Oh, I love pucker pies. What's your favourite? Chicken and mushroom. Yeah. What do you like? So if you'd like to come to Land Dudno, but not in your motorhome, or if you don't have a motorhome or camper van, then the Stella is historic Land Dudno, bed and breakfast, and it's dog friendly. It's beautiful as well. Really and nice. So we've got some red dragons there. How cool. Oh yeah, it is. Let's get on this trail. Oh, Let's have a look. I think dogs are free, but you have to pay for us. Hey. Oh no, dogs are one pound fifty. That's fine. Let's get on right, it. Right, let's get on it. This is the tram. We've made it onto the tram. I think he might have misunderstood when I said I wanted to go on the tram. I think but I wanted to buy it because it's £24 return. I think you've got cheaper suits. So these are Bronze Age mines, remember, up here. Bronze Age mines? Can we go in the mines? Yeah. With the dogs? Yeah, but it says dogs don't really like mines. I'm going to have a blackjack. Do you want one? No, thank you. I haven't had one of these since the school took shop. Tastes the same? Just like I remember. Mm. Pretty nice, then. Might have another one. Where do we stand on this? This is an important thing for the channel. Wrapper, back in the bag or not? Yeah. I know you're a wrapper back in bag mm. girl. I'm not. Pet eight of mine. I know, it ruins I it. Call some sweets at Christmas, you get really cross and put the wrappers back in, don't you? It takes forever to find what you want, anyway. It doesn't really matter, though. Interesting facts about this. Yeah. One, it's got a telephone that I didn't know. So it's just beeped. But the other one is that it's Great Britain's only remaining cable operated street tramway. And there's only a few left in the world. It's a bit like San Francisco, isn't it? Yeah, San Francisco cable cars. So it resembles San Francisco, but it's quite different. It's not quite the same mm. how it operates. It adheres to the funicular principle. I mean, I could explain it, but you yeah, might don't, not. Don't worry. It. Do you know what funicular means? No, I don't actually. The cars are permanently fixed to the cable and are stopped and started by stopping and starting the cable, but in San Francisco, the cars can detach from it. Oh, OK, so that's the difference. That's the difference. But uh, in Lisbon as well, we've got a similar thing. Oh, it's a gentle movement. It's nice. Isn't it? King's Head. So I'll have a John's mate, please. Which yeah. Steve? Really Steve. Look at that. I can feel it. That's some gradient, that. Oh yeah. So we're on the road. I hope they've checked this cable. <laughs> Ooh, let's look at that down there. Uh oh. Hello. Oh, it's pencil. <laughs> <laughs> we're getting overtaken. <laughs> We just, we've just been overtaken by a Suzuki Splash. <laughs> Making me dizzy, this. You wouldn't want to walk off from the pub on here, would you? Do you know what it looks like up here? You know, American Way Off in London, where they go, where they're walking out of that pub? Yeah. I think there's Jack there. What are called Jack? I think he was. Great, oh. Dull as dishwater up here. <laughs> but it's nice on a clear day, but it's foggy. Oh, look at this. We're getting straight back on the tram to go down. 
here we are just pulling up to the station it's that you can't actually see it it's said it, downstairs isn't it it's like a what is there thing. to do here go in the mine walk around but it's cold and raining so do you want to change, change to go to the summit? summit yeah we're going to the summit aren't we <laughs> cool. I'll have this picture, shall we go in? Yeah. Oh. Big photo up there. Look, loads of bylaws. Laws, laws, laws. Any person whose dress or clothing might, in the opinion of any servant of the company, soil or injure the linings or cushions of a car or dress or clothing of any passenger or a person. Wow. Probably gook. So, people first got on here in 1902. That was the year the first That's not passenger. That slow. The two tram cars in each section of the line are hauled by cables away, and the sending car helped pull the up its partner. Right, okay. It's like a big winch. <laughs> not winch. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. It's going and absolutely freezing here. And the good news is the weather hasn't improved <laughs> in the slightest. In fact, we only walked down that corridor, we came back out, it's like a totally different day. Just really up there is the bleak winter. Uh, I don't know if you overheard the man. Uh, he asked, the guy that brought us up, asked that guy what the visibility was like up at the top. He says it's zero. <laughs> so this is going to be a nice view. Only £12 one way. Oh. Off we go again. It's a shame that it's so cold. <laughs> Isn't it? It takes the enjoyment out of it a little bit. Glad I had that latte in before I set off. Got to get you warm, you mean? Mm. Oh, here we go. On the way. Oof. <laughs> and take off. Rather exposed up on the hill. <laughs> Darling. I wondered why I hadn't seen Michael Palin on this one. Professional YouTubers tend to plan their videos meticulously, yeah. but these two Muppets seem to have picked the worst type of day to visit the summit of the Great Orm. What exactly are they hoping to show you? So there is a road up here. Can you see it? I can't. Can I see it? I can't even uh, see well, the fellow so that's sat over there. Interesting thing, actually, your phone's wet through. What's wet through? My phone. Is that okay? My phone's wet through. Yeah. Everything's wet through. So, there's not many places to stay in London, though, with a yeah. motorhome. At the top of here, there's a cafe. Oh, is there? Which you can uh, it... turn up. Oh, is it dog like... friendly? It must be. Yeah, well, I think we'll be going straight back down again, won't we? <laughs> That's my view on this. I don't know. But what I'm saying is it's a good job that we didn't stay there, eh? I think that might be another tram coming down. Oh, it's coming straight towards us. Oh no, here we go. There we go. Bit tight. See if we can get a wave. Yeah, there we go. Got some wavers. I feel like I'm in an episode of Stars in Their Eyes. Tonight, Matthew, I'm gonna be wet, wet, wet. Playground's surprisingly empty. Summit complex, he said. Claire, it's, it's a complex, not a cafe. That's not the cafe then. I think if I stay on this any longer, I'll have a summit complex. What have we here? We've got a gift shop that sells sun hats. Okay, here we are. Ooh. Can dogs go in there? Well behaved dogs welcome, yes. So this is included in our price then? I don't know. And what's this then? It's a lot of information, isn't there? Oh, look. Limestone. Oh, might have brought that. So look at this. Actually, that was fascinating. The rocks of the Great Orm formed 350 million years ago. OK, so, so volcanic. That. Yeah. The force of the distant volcanoes that crumpled the Earth's crust to form the Alps was felt here. So, uh, oh, look, there's a crab in there. Oh, I see, see him moving, yeah, there's a few. So it's all about the habitat of different birds. By the Stone way, I saw, I saw a blue tit in our garden the other day. Did you? Yeah, I wanted to see what that was. It's Tasmanian cold. 
So the number of wheat ears breeding in Britain has fallen possibly due to the droughts in their North African breeding grounds. But in the summer, well, when it's sunny, it's really nice to walk about. Yeah, it's interesting. Copper mining. What these two amateurs should have said in their pitifully inadequate fashion is this. Uncovered in 1987, during an attempt to landscape the Great Orm, these copper mines represent one of the most mind-boggling archaeological discoveries of recent history. Dating back a staggering 4,000 years to the Bronze Age, they completely overturn our understanding of the ancient Britons. It turns out they were living in a sophisticated, organized society a full 2,000 years before the Romans even got around to it. For the past 28 years, a motley crew of mining engineers, intrepid cavers, and ever so dedicated archaeologists have been painstakingly unearthing a labyrinth of tunnels and extensive surface areas. What they've revealed so far is what is likely the largest prehistoric mine ever discovered in the entire world. Yes, the entire world. And yet, despite this monumental achievement, you'd be hard-pressed to find two people who can say it without mumbling. Okay. Oh, what a shame that the weather's so terrible. Well, should we wander over there? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think we should, yeah. We've got to go up there. There is a building up here. And I wouldn't mind going to it. I don't know what it is. Is that the lighthouse? Where have you gone? Hello? Hello? <laughs> There's a car park here if you want to So you can up. drive up if you don't want to take the tram. I think it's open. You don't really want to be walking around up here. Can you see some people? Yeah. Crazy golf. Nobody wants to play that today. That is crazy golf. It's wild up here. It's wild. When I'm wild. <laughs> North Wales, adventure capital. What's in here then? Whoa. Hey look, there's a Welsh gift shop. It's nice and warm in here. You got everything, yeah? All English names, Welsh names. What a coincidence. And his garden. Great tit. Well, we're having a great time, but we're We've decided to go back on the tram. Yeah, it's just too, it's too wet and windy. Is this what you mean, Claire, when you're at work and you say, oh, it's in the cloud? <laughs> Where are we? We've got lost. You could get lost on here. Who would have thought it's like this up here? Mm, look at that rock there. Yes. Read what it says about it. The boulder was one of many that fell onto the marine drive as a result of floods in which five inches of rain fell in a three hour period. It was not the biggest. Wow, that was 10th of June, 1993. Did anybody see that happen? Come on, let's get back inside. You know that Lionel Richie wrote that song up here? Yeah. Hello. As he came to the summit. Yeah.